system very log it is possible to assign uh, uh, data is equal to 1 so it will work for it will automatically assign to all bits as 1 so vector of any field can be filled with ones without any hard coding and uh, automatic scaling so these are the advantage okay Next, very log uh, requires uh, local declarations in system very log, system very log add the concept called compilation unit to the very log what is that system very log extends the very log declaration space extends very logs declaration space by allowing the declaration to be made outside of module or interface or program block boundaries is it possible to declare the compilation uh, things outside of module in very low it's not possible right if you want to add some certain uh, uh, compilation uh, compiler directives you should add inside that one inside your module but in system very log it is possible to declare it in outside outside of module here interface and the program block and they will tell you okay so interface and program blocks are new new things so for uh, here also you can declare instead of writing inside uh, these things we can declare it in outside ah, in system very log we can declare tasks and functions also by under uh, 10 picosecond okay now i am executing uh, like this for example three models will uh, take three models okay but in the third module i am uh, i have declared like this time scale uh, one nanosecond divided by one uh, nanosecond like that i am declaring okay now i am compiling the first module after that second module third module if i am compiling like this means for this module uh, for the second module i have not declared any time scale directive so it will assign the first uh, modules uh, time scale okay now suppose i am compiling in this order first i am compiling third module next second module after that first module in that case it will uh, assume this as a time scale for the second module this is in very log but in the system will log we can avoid that is the advantage here that is what they are trying to say so the time unit and time precision can be uh, precision can be declared by time unit and time time precision keywords here we are having two separate keywords first one is time unit second one is time precision two separate keywords we can declare in that way also so the keywords time unit time time precision specify the information within the module that is uh, as a part of module definition then must be uh, it must be immediately after the module interface or program declarations or statements getting this one it should be immediately after the module interface or program declaration statements should not come in the middle of your program then what is the use of these uh, keywords means binding the unit and precision information directly to module that is the first advantage okay uh, in the case of uh, system uh, very log we have to declare uh, outside the module but here we are binding inside to that module and then yeah interface a program program block and interface are two new concepts in system very log so instead of being command uh, to software tool in a uh, very log what we are doing that we are in very log uh, we are using this time scale as a command to software tool but here inbuilt we are uh, doing all these things next system very log data types first bit uh, in very log do we have uh, this bit here we are having bit bit means what will happen means uh, bit a suppose we are declaring like this bit a so it will uh, have only two state either 0 or 1 it will be one bit and it will have only either 0 or 1 you can't assign any x or z to this one and second byte if you are declaring byte a means this a will have 8 bits <coughs> and here also we are having only two states either 0 or 1 which one two state integer what
here uh, if you are declaring like this then it will be like a character it will consider it as a character that is the meaning where what is a right huh? Eight bit integer. Mm, mm, uh, according to me, uh, that character size and all there, na uh, character. If in C, in most of the simulators, yeah, compilers, character means how many bits? Character means one bit, right? C. Uh, I don't know yet. And uh, third one is short int. That is a 16 bit. Int is 32 bit. And long int is 64 bit. Mm -hmm. So all are varying uh, in terms of width, right? And uh, one more thing is here all are two state. Two state integers. Next here uh, we are having void data type. Void means uh, we know that in C what, uh, what is uh, what is the use of that void? It will a void? Yeah. No, it will not return any value. Yeah, that yeah. If uh, in function is there, uh, if that function is not writing any value, yeah. then we can uh, use the data type for that function as a void. Then short real, short real means 32 bits single precision floating point. And uh, logic a. Logic means here look at. One bit, yeah, this is a one bit, but here we are having four states. Mm -hmm. uh, in the case of bit. That is also one bit, but two state. Bit is a two state. One signed type, one signed data type. Only one signed data type. That is integer in very left 1995. Uh, that is having the fixed size of 32 bit width. In very left 2001 enhancement is what? It allows signed arithmetic operation on any data type and with any vector size. For example. Suppose I am declaring u as a 64 bit width of unsigned variable. Now, uh, register signed. I am declaring another variable name of uh, s, but it is a signed one. So, here in 2001, what is the enhancement? It allows signed arithmetic operation on any data type with any da vector size. Now we'll uh, see what's happening in system Verilog. System Verilog add new data type that are signed by that are signed by default. By default, all are signed. Like uh, byte, short int, int, long int, all are uh, new data types. All are uh, by default signed one. Now int s underscore int. This is a variable name. If you are declaring like this means uh, that uh, the implicit meaning of this uh, s underscore int is signed 32 bit variable. If you are declaring like this, int unsigned, unsigned is a keyword. That is, uh, you know, that is the meaning. Now, system Verilog signed declaration is not same as the C's. Uh, 